Hey guys, welcome to another recap of The X Factor. Well, tonight was the live show, what we've all been waiting for. And five acts are going to be going home. Two of Simon's, in fact. Everybody else has to pick one. So up first was L.A. Reid with his category, The Boys. Astro was up first. Um, very predictable song choice for him, Jump. It was another um, young rap song by, you know, the, the guy who did it at the time was a teenager as well. He rocked it. Um, I wasn't surprised. I mean, don't give him anything other than rap to do, though, because it's not going to be pretty. Uh, Chris Renee was up next. Uh, Love Don't Live Here. It was a Madonna song. It was a little shaky at first, but then he kind of pulled it out in the end, and uh, I guess he was just lacking a little confidence when he started out. It was difficult. I mean, get in front of a live audience like that, the pressure's on. All right. Philip Lomax, um, I'm a Believer, you know, that monkey song. I thought it was a really crappy song choice. Um, this show was pretty much contrived. The judges, uh, I think pretty much knew who they were going to send home. I knew who they were going to send home before they even sent them home. Um, I guess to make it obvious to the unwashed masses, they gave them crappy song choices. Marcus Canty was up last in that category. Do you really want to hurt me? Um, you know, that culture club song. I didn't love it, but it didn't suck. <laughs> and eliminated Typically, uh, Philip Lomax. I hate the way the judges are like, oh, you're all right, you're eliminated. <laughs> when they give them the critique, oh, you were great, you're eliminated. It was a complete setup, the whole show was, so uh, there should be no surprises here at all for anybody. Next, next week is going to be more telling because that's going to be when America gets to vote, so it's not just going to be up to the judges. Paula Abdul's category, the groups, the weakest category that there is this season, this inaugural season. Stereo Hogs were up first. Uh, try a little tenderness. The front guy is really great, the guy who's the lead singer, but the rest of the group is adequate, but they have some cool dance moves, but most of the time I feel like they're very corny. Brewer Boys were up next. Uh, they had a mashup. Now, I'm not a big fan of the mashup when it's, um, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of the mashup. <laughs> they had Rich Girl and Faith. Um, they're very Disney and very, not just Disney, very elevator music Disney. So I didn't really like their performance at all. Uh, Intensity was up next. That's the uh, made up group, uh, the judges uh, with the 10 little kids in it. They had a mashup as well. They did the clapping song and Footloose. There were some weak links in the group, um, mostly the solo people, except for the girl with the red jacket. She's She could be very uh, good on her own in the solo category, but um, not so good individually, but as a whole, I think they really gelled really well, so they'll probably make it through. <laughs> Lakota Rain was up last in that category. Uh, they did a country take on Come On Eileen by Dexie's Midnight Runners, and I really feel like they are the only real group like in that category. Um, each one of them in that group is very solid as a performer, and I thought they are the real deal. They're just like 100% the real deal. So, eliminated, again, very predictably, the Brewer Boys. Now, Nicole's category, I think she's got the toughest job ever, uh, because this category is chock full of winners, and that is the over 30s category. Dexter Haygood was up first, and he sang a mashup of Womanizer and I Kissed a Girl. And I thought, holy cow, he is crazy, <laughs> or drunk, or both. What was with all the screaming and all? I don't know. It was just so bizarre. It was just bizarre. Leroy Bell took the taste out of my mouth. <laughs> that was bad from that performance. And he performed Nobody Knows and Start Over Again, another mashup. 
but this one was freaking amazing. He has an unbelievable voice and I just love his stage presence. He's just so quietly amazing. Uh, Stacy Francis was up next. Another great performance by her. She had um, the song Teacher, George Michael. She, first of all, she had a fantastic makeover because she did not look like any type of a musical artist in the past. And now she's looking mighty fine. It's like Nicole took the raw talent that she had and just it gave her so much confidence to have that makeover and everything. It really shone through in her performance and her confidence level on the stage. No more tears from her. Then uh, rounding out that category was Josh Krajic. Uh, he sang Forever Young, the Bob Dylan one, not the crazy one from the 80s. This was so stripped down. It was just haunting. I think he stole a piece of my soul with this performance and I gladly gave it. So eliminated out of this category, predictable, Dexter. Sorry dude. He was confused. <laughs> I wasn't. Alright, now the final category which was Simon's and it was the girls category. He's got five in his so two have to go. Up first was Simone Battle. Just be good to me. <sighs> weak. <laughs> she looks good, but she don't sound good. That's all you need to know. Rachel Crow is up next. She's the little tiny baby. She's the youngest one in the uh, competition. And she did a mashup. Uh, baby Love, aka Where Did Our Love Go? And uh, Baby by Baby Bieber. <laughs> Uh, I really liked her performance. I thought that whole uh, retro thing was really working well for her. The only criticism I would have for her, though, is that she seems a little bit detached when she's performing. Like, her personality is so big when she's just, like, conversing. But then when she goes into performance mode, it's almost like she's blocking the audience out. She's got these dead eyes, and it's just, it's a little unnerving. Uh, Drew Reinowitz, who will now be known as Drew, <laughs> was up next, and she did an amazing rendition of Flashdance. I love the arrangement. Uh, she was just amazing. Another soul-stealing performance. It's like she's the baby teen sister of Josh Krajic. Uh, Tia Tolliver was up next, fourth in that category. She did an, a new take on the old Eurythmic Sweet Dreams. Oh, pinchy! It was kind of a hot mess. I never, I never liked her. <laughs> I, I didn't think she had what it took to be in the top group, and this performance pretty much proved it. Uh, rounding out that category, Melanie Amaro. You know, the one who Simon took on later because he made a mistake who probably should have been called first she sang I Have Nothing by Whitney Houston <sighs> oh my first she had a makeover she had these hair extensions in which looked amazing uh, she just took this song which is like a gut-wrenching song and made it seem effortless so yeah nice Eliminated out of this category, again, predictable, Tia and Simone, who probably shouldn't have been in the finals anyway. So the next show, in case you're interested, <laughs> is November 2nd. We're going to have to wait a little bit on that. And uh, the audience gets their say. So we'll have to check back then. Much love.